Hi folks, this is Tristan for Noisegate. Today we're taking a first look at Aturia's Pigments version 2, the brand new update just released by Aturia. So as you may be aware, Pigments was already one of the most powerful and flexible software synthesizers available. That's largely on account of its dual engine architecture, where each engine can either be a three oscillator analog style engine or a wavetable engine. And that's to say nothing of its dual filter section and extensive modulation routing options. But with version 2, they've added this third engine type called Sample, which is deceptively simple sounding, because it's actually very deep and very powerful. Uh, basically, what it lets you do is load in up to six different samples to these six different slots, and there are a bunch of different ways you can trigger these samples via the mapping section. A single just isolates one single sample. Or key map and key velocity map let you route different samples, or different, let you map different samples to different parts of the keyboard. Sample pick gives you this knob to choose which samples are being played, which can of course be modulated via any of the modulation sources. Our round robin just cycles through the samples as you play different keys. And random just triggers a random sample every time you play a key. Uh, so round robin's a lot of fun, especially once you integrate the arpeggiator as I'll do here. Okay, let's speed it up and add a bit of randomization, perhaps. Okay, that's sounding pretty cool, but we're only using one synth engine so far. Let's bring in number two. Let's try maybe a virtual analog style. Okay, that's interesting. Let's try a wavetable engine, perhaps. Maybe a more interesting wavetable. How about mutant shapes? Cool, let's make that a bit more interesting by modulating this wavetable position with LFO1. Oh, let's put that into free running mode. That's sounding pretty cool. But of course, this sample playback is only one small part of the functionality of the new sample engine. It's also capable of doing granular synthesis, as the name of some of these presets implies. Let's have a look at this one here. So what granular synthesis does essentially is breaks down the sample into a bunch of little chunks called grains and um, plays them back in different configurations. Let's just jump to a blank template here and check out how this operates. Okay, I just got a sample of a piano playing here. Let's go to the main edit section. And there's this uh, density knob here changes how quickly grains are generated. And the size knob chooses the size of the grains. From very long through to very, very short. Okay, let's try loading up a different sample here. You've even got a modulation envelope for each of the grains here. Let's try something with a bit more attack to it. And then we've got all these randomization options as well. We can randomize the size of the grains, as well as the density. We can even modulate that uh, modulation envelope. So just a ton of things to play with. Let's check out some of the presets that are made for us already here.
As you can see in the preset browser, it even gives us an overview of what's happening in each of the engines and the filters, as well as access to our macros. So we can really use the preset browser as a live performance view. Uh, let's try some more of these presets. Cool, thanks for watching. This has been a quick first look at Arturia's Pigments version 2. Please leave any questions or comments down below, and we'll see you next time.